just snipe them fools. Uh, yeah, wrong way. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. I was almost certain that when you walk in here, you're at the top. Ah, uh, I took the wrong one. I, was, I went into the wrong door. Oh, that, okay. That legit baffled me for a second. Oh well. But there are ants above me, so. Let's take all the ammunition, because ammunition is good. It also sucks that in the, each DLC, at least the. Actually, I don't think it is in each DLC. You get like late game ammo. I didn't know that. Hey buddies. No, I gotta do it at least once. <laughs> I have to do I have to do it at least once. It's so fun. Who do you think is cuter? Dr. Klein or Dr. Burroughs? I'm not into that type of stuff. Actually, if I put it here, doesn't it explode the heads? Sneaking done. Fighting now. Yeah, it does. Nice. Fighting over. Kill all the ants, activate the emitter, and come over here to flip the switch. We got power. Turn the right girl. Goody. How you doing? Two dead, three wounded. Which also means I get to fix up some busted boomers. <laughs> I gotta go to the medical tent to do that. Yeah, chop, chop, chop. I need to watch Mike burn fire again. Because I recently started watching them and then stopped. Because I think they're at like episode 300 or 400. My god damn. I know they do mods and shit, but. Jesus. I mean. I have. Time. Oh, no. Nope, nope. Not this one. This one. Correct. Correct. Actually, where the... Oh, is loyal. No, loyal is over here. Yeah, I know they do mods and stuff, but... I just don't understand. Or don't see how they did it. Hello, outsider. Need something? Uh, they have been fixed. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Bye. I am now accepted. Yeah. All right, back to ants. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, it's in this room, correct? I don't remember. Yep, Mr. Cuddles. Because one of the... It's not a side quest, but it is helping out. Uh... There she is. The one with overalls, I think it is? Or is this her? Is she? Hey there, mister. Oh, yep. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Uh, Lindsay? Here you go. Mr. Cuddles is my teddy. I lost him... And I don't remember where. Okay, I look Thanks. for him. Let me know when you find him. 
Hi again. Have... There you go. Oh, thank you so much. I'll never lose you again, Mr. Cuddles. Yeah, I'm not like. Hey, kid. Roar! I'm a dinosaur. Just passing through. Okay. See ya. Hey, do you have any toys outside of here? I sure could use something fun. Bye then. See what I can do. Ten, ten seconds later. Forget. Huh? Who are you? You said you wanted something? Yeah, I wanted toys. Oh, that's cool. Fuck them kids. Oh, as long as it gives me a uh, reputation, good reputation with the boomers, I will. I don't think it will, though. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yes, ma'am. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. Easy. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Oh! Onward to learning the history in medical tent. But before I do that, yeah, I want to record Starfield. I do, but my GPU will not like it. Maybe if I put it in like 720, maybe. I don't know. Starfield is such a taxing game. It the uh, recommended, I think it said of the twenty eighty uh, Ti, which is a little bit better than uh, a thirty sixty. But shit, I really should have waited for it. <sighs> Schoolhouse. What is this? Medical. Medical. I really should have waited for the uh, thingy. Because for $800, I probably could have got a fucking. 3080. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, Outsider. But I have patience to tend to. Maybe I can help. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. You have medical training? Yes. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Cool. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. This man looks like he has a serious infection. Improper treatment will kill him. Would you like to treat him? Yes. Treat the infection. With a combination of natural herbs, medicine, uh, bandages... And some disinfectant, you're able to clean the wounds and help boost the patient's immune system enough that he'll survive. That was some fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. Cool. Uh, this man. This man appears to be severely injured. Swelling around his face and neck is in interfering with his breathing. Are you sure you want to treat him? Treat the patient. After carefully considering treatment options, you realize the patient is merely having a severe allergic reaction. By cleaning his wounds of ant venom and administrating a steroid compound, you reduce the swelling and the patient's breathing returns to normal. I am now idolized. Thank you. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around. Hello, man. This man's leg is severely injured. It may require amputation to save him. Are you sure you want to attempt the operation? Yes. Upon further examination after cleaning the leg, you realize it can be saved. You carefully remove the existing stitches, clean the wounds thoroughly, then restitch the wounds closed using a much more efficient, uh, effective procedure. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. Hey, buddy. If I haven't said it before, outsider... Let me say it now. Welcome to Nellis. Word from Pearl is that you're to be greeted as a friend. I finish reading your patience. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. Gotta go. Bye. Savage my ass. Corn! Oh, shit. 
the hell are they firing at? Like, shit. Uh, where is the museum? Is this it? The first one? Loyal. Work workshop. What's in a workshop? Ooh. We got a lathe in a drip meal. Holy shit. Are we being watched? Ah. We got a mill and a drilling plant. Uh, lathe. That's not bad. Yeah, here it is. Hey, guy. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Who are you? Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago, but old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Sure. Why not? Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mural on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I got spare time to spare. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. That's it. Uh, you okay? Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything. Not even a hand grenade. Okay, there we go. We left and wandered the waste. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. But there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based to, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image, it is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety. Bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Sure. Ask away. Why did your ancestors leave the safety of a vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. <laughs> I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Your people were willing to risk it on all for freedom. And at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? I'm surprised Nellis was empty when you people found it. Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago, leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the Waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Whereas your people had brought Geiger counters with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a Sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? How'd you survive co totally cut off? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead. Solar arrays provide power. 
and we grow our own crops. Damn it. I can't do that. I guess poor nutrition could explain all your behavior. <laughs> the ingenuity of your people is remarkable. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. Anything else you want to know? Uh, what are the Howarchers doing at an Air Force base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis. And it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. That Howitzer battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? How has Nellis taught your people to fly? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. No, oh, to slip the slurry bonds of Earth and dance amid the soaring birds. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? Uh, how'd you learn how to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base. With magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. You could attach ballast to the planet and haul it here for parts. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Alright, well. I'm looking to make myself useful. Who, didn't, who needs help? Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Alright, goodbye. Don't get blown up. I'll try not to. A bunch of shut-ins who score. Nope. I saw it move. Give me that. We're done. Go. I saw it for a split second. I saw it. I really did. Uh, is there anything else? Valor. Return to Pearl. Okay. Oh, Mother Pearl. I got some shit I should say to you. Hey, Mother Pearl, she got a China Lake. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, I've done everything I can help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Yeah, uh, but... I will do that. But, the Lady of the Lake. I will do that in the next video, or the next session. So, I've had a fun time today, doing the one hour of a special, the 100th episode special. That was fun. Beating the Divide. Honest Heart, is it the Honest Hearts? No. The Lonesome Road DLC. I beat, finally beat that. And then with that, I finally came over to the Boomers and about to do their final quest. I think it's the final quest. I don't know. With that being said, my name is Mike Lackert. This has been Fallout New Vegas Redux, and I will see every single one of you monkeys out there in the next video. Bye-bye!